welcome to the next project for the 11,000, the 12,000 or the 15,000. In this class we're going to be learning how to do this trapunto cushion. So trapunto um, becomes fatter, larger, puffs up. So this part of the design sits up above the rest of the design. It's a fun little project. The design comes with your download. You will get the design in two parts. So you'll actually get the design in the center and you'll get the surround, which means then at any time you can use the surround and have a different design in the center. So I'd just like to talk to you quickly about what you're going to need to do this. And you will need a plain fabric, which I have here. So a plain fabric that you're going to do your embroidery on, about a 12 inch square. Then you'll need a print to complement the fabric. Um, and you'll need four four inch strips to go around uh, by the width of your fabric to go around your square. You're also going to need some of this very thick wadding that's used mostly for doing toys or stuffing toys. It is a polyester. You just need about an A4 size of this. If you find you have some but it's too thick, you can pull it apart. Um, you can use this or you could use um, a pallon, use two layers of pallon. You're also going to need for the cushion a wool wadding, uh, which is a standard wadding you might use in a quilt. You're going to also need um, a few feet for this class. So firstly you are going to need your standard quarter inch foot. This one is off the 11,000. You're going to need of course an embroidery foot for doing your embroidery. A free motion foot for doing stipple around your trapunto. And then you're going to need a walking foot as well. If you have a 15,000, your walking foot may look like this on the 12 or the 15,000. And this actually acts as a quarter inch guide as well. So it means you can use your quarter inch foot uh, for joining all the layers together and have the benefit of a walking foot, which is fantastic. The other foot that I have here is a piping foot and I'm not sure if you can see that foot there. It's quite a, a plain looking foot but on the reverse side you have deep grooves on either side. So this is going to be used to put the braid or the cording around the edge of your design. Now if you're going to use a round, like a rat tail or a piping, what happens is the foot with the grooves sits over the top of the piping and it allows the foot to simply slide over the top. If you're using a flat braid, then I suggest you just use a walking foot. But if you're using a round decorative braid or cord, then you would need your piping foot, which is a really good foot to have in your stash. So that's it from me for now. I hope you enjoy this class. Um, or oh, the other thing you're going to need is a plain fabric for the back of your cushion and you're going to need um, some buttons. Um, but the list will be included in your download. So have fun. I hope you enjoy this cushion and I'll see you at the end.